Hello again. 5th of October 2023. Obviously this is going to go out uh, a fair bit later but I've come to the north side of Danes Dyke. I've not stood on the ridge because the wind would be absolutely atrocious on this little camera. However, I just want to talk about something uh, that happened about a month ago. And I came up here, there's Bob still up, and met a guy, I don't know exact date, but we'll say about a month ago, called Patrick, who wanted to tell me about something unusual that he observed whilst taking a camping holiday on a campsite over there. And the Flambra Lighthouse, just so long as you get your bearings, Flambra Lighthouse is in that direction. And I'll just tell this dog to sit down. Sit. Look at that. He's absolutely a honed and trained machine. I wish. So, we walked all the way along to the other side of the field. You see the fence in here. Well, obviously we went to the other side because he took a walk whilst camping along and towards the cliff tops and it was evening time and he said that the sun was just starting to set I wanted to film him actually in the backlight from over there of the dike but the sun was it just weren't favorable for camera so he's telling me that as he as he was observing I think this was last year he's telling me this a month ago he observed two orange lights moving along the top of the dike which is not going to rule out that and not many people have an orange torch beam. I know we see the red light, the infrared on the back of some people's lamps, but these were orange. Big spheres of light. So then they went wider, then they went higher, then they joined together. And there he is, impatient. And he observed them, just mild curiosity, and contacted me at the time. And... Uh, Obviously, he's come back on holiday. We've reconnected and I went to meet him. So that's not the end of the story. And this will make sense in a moment, people. On tonight's live stream, which will be going out well before this short goes out, we're talking to Mike Cleland, who's written books called The, si the Messengers and The Synchronicity of Owls. I just wanted to hover on the word synchronicity. So Patrick is telling me about the lights that he'd seen moving along the dike from over there the year before. And I explained to him that I couldn't get the camera on him. Could we walk to the dike? And could he tell me the story on top here? Kind of like ground zero. So we did. So we proceeded to walk along here up to the top of the dike and uh, he started relaying the story now as he's telling me this story I've got my back to this area where we'd just been stood and I'm thinking we're looking at about 300 yards away he suddenly became animated and said whoa whoa I've just seen, seen something I've just seen something and uh, by the time I turned around there was nothing there and he described seeing a strange almost square shape with a cream top on it moving and just disappearing into the land. Now, I said, will you talk about it on film? He said, no, because I can't explain what I've seen. It's really puzzled me. So that kind of defeats the object of talking about unexplained phenomena. Bobby, one second, people. Bob, come here. See what I've got to put up with. So, uh, so uh, anyway, he sent me the report. He's done a little drawing of this, which no doubt I will be putting on here. But is that synchronicity? Uh, I've no reason to disbelieve that he didn't see what he says he saw, although I didn't see it myself. But we're here talking about unexplained phenomena. We've literally, 30 minutes prior, been stood where he sees this large shape move along the field and then descend into the ground. I think that's fascinating. So for truth proof, I'll leave it at that. As always, like and subscribe if you want to. It's totally free. And uh, me and this little person 
Say hello, Bob. We'll continue with our adventure. Okay, bye-bye.